Greetings and welcome to Woodstock Wednesdays. My name is Tret Fury and I am honored to be part of the Woodstock Festival's Woodstock Wednesdays. The festival is held in Woodstock, Illinois, as you know, and it is a wonderful small town festival centered around the town square. This year marks its 35th year of bringing music and culture to you. And I had the great privilege of playing the festival in 2016 and also to be part of the grand finale for the 2020 virtual Woodstock Festival. It's a powerful piece and you should check it out. In 2015, I was also part of the International Women's Day fundraiser for the festival and it was a all-star, all-women bill. The festival does so much to advance the profile, the power, and the performance of women. And I admire Carol and her board for their commitment to equality and parity. Would that it were true everywhere. This is Women's Equality Day, and I'm honored to be performing on this day. At the behest of Representative Bella Abzug, Democrat from New York in 1971 and passed in 1973, the U.S. Congress designated August 26th as Women's Equality Day. The date was selected to commemorate the 1920 certification of the 19th Amendment to the Constitution, granting women the right to vote. Now, so many minorities are still struggling with the right to vote, or should I say the ability to vote. I would encourage all women, all LGBTQ people, and all people of color to vote early if you can, but definitely vote. We need representation. We need to be heard, especially in this dangerous time. We're still struggling for equality, for equal representation, for equal pay. These are things that should be far behind us, but they are not. I was part of the women's movement, women's music movement in the 80s and 90s when we thought we were the change that would never go back. But here we are. Those days were heady days. It was a second wave of feminism and thousands of women and men would come out to hear women's music and share women's culture. We played venues from Carnegie Hall to Town Hall and large concert halls across the country. It was a, I was at first astounded and then delighted to be a player in this time of history. But as we changed and moved into the mainstream, we lost some of that history, history that should never have been forgotten. We gathered as sisters and brothers to share music, to share politics and culture. And I can't help but feel that we have gone backwards. But we have the ability to change that now. We have a vice presidential candidate that is not only a woman, but a black and Asian woman, a powerful woman. We need to make sure that she gets I'd like to do a song from you, for you that I used to do and still do. Started in the 80s. I wrote this in 1982, and it was one of the two songs that is still requested from me from that time. I originally wrote it on piano, and it was on my 1984 Terminal Hold album. But as it has been requested throughout the years, I had to learn how to play it on guitar, and I re-recorded it on my Piece of the Sky CD in 2013 song called That Side of the Moon. My house I leave open, my faith lies with friends. If I can't trust my instincts, I'll lose in the end. I'd rather take chances than be on my guard. That side of the moon is too dark. That side of the moon is too dark. I can run from the fire, turn my back on the wind, hide from the rain, 
but not for my friends. I'd rather risk injury than be on my guard, cause that side of the moon is too dark. That side of the moon is too dark. That side of the moon is too dark. That side of the moon is too dark My house I leave open, my faith lies with friends. If I can't trust my instincts, I'll lose in the end. I'd rather take chances than be on my guard. Cause that side of the moon is too dark. That side of the moon is too dark. That side of the moon is too dark That side of the moon is too dark That side of the moon is too dark That side of the moon is too song that I would like to do for you is a song off of my Roses in November album. It's a song I wrote in 2017 after reading an article in the New York Times about a woman named Edith Rivera. Edith was an immigrant, is an immigrant, who had been in this country for 18 years with her husband and their child. Their son was born in the U.S. and is an American citizen. In 2015, Edith's husband was deported for the fifth and final time. She was living at the time in Hampton, Iowa, which had been a sanctuary city until the county sheriff decided to remove the designation. So here she was without her husband raising her son and having to make a decision whether to stay and raise him alone in a country in which, from which she could be deported at any time or to leave to do something they call self-deportation. And she decided to do that. This is called Edith Rivera. <laughs> Quitting time for Edith Rivera She's serving one last Mexican meal Then heading down the dusty farm road The pedal and the wheel No legal status in this country Though she's lived here 18 No driver's license in her wallet Just expired hopes and fears Not afraid of the man in the red tie Or the county sheriff's quest This rapidly diverse farm town No longer a place of rest Not afraid to be pulled over Or how she still will cope Some politicians call it self-deportation She calls it her own Driving down to meet her son Stephen's in the seventh grade He 
She's only once been to Vera Cruz American born and raised Her husband has already gone Deported 2015 So she sells off with the The furniture and machines Not afraid of the man in the red tie Or the county sheriff's quest This rapidly diverse farm town No longer a place of rest Not afraid to be pulled over Or how she still will cope Some politicians call it self-deportation She calls it her only hope this country's freckled with Edith and Hampton And immigrants who build the town squares Transforming businesses, working the fields But now they're all running scared Ooh. Wretched poverty awaits her There's nothing here she can call home Edith scrolls through her memories Like pictures on the phone And now they board their Mexican flight Album Dia, she says, someday Delta agent asks, do you have a return? And she says, no return, just one way. Not afraid of the man in the red tie or the county sheriff's quest. This rapidly diverse farm town, no longer a place of rest. Not afraid to be pulled over or how she still will cope. Some politicians call it self-deportation. She calls it her only home. Some politicians call it self-deportation. She calls it her only home. Thank you. For my last song, I'd like to do the title cut from my 2015 CD, Rembrandt Afternoons. And it is a song I send out to all women who have had older women as mentors in their lives. We all have had mentors, women and men. We need them to guide us, to educate us, to teach us how to be better people. This song was for my mother, who was one of my greatest mentors. And I send this out to you all. She gave me Rembrandt afternoons I gave her metaphor She was my sun and I her moon Cradle to the core Cradle to the core She painted life in long broad strokes She colored bright and gay she opened up the world to me and sent me on my way and sent me on my way though she was older she gave me youth and in her boldness she taught me truth she was my guiding light she was so strong now i don't know how i'll get She held no destination She traveled without guides Though she was stunning outwardly She suffered hard inside She suffered hard inside Though she was older She gave me youth And in her boldness She taught me truth she was my guiding light, she was my song, 
Now I don't know how I'll get along So deep, so wide So hard to see this light But oh, the pictures I'll hold forever I'll hold Ooh. But she was older, she gave me youth, and in her boldness, she taught me truth. She was my guiding light, she was so strong. Now I don't know how I'll get along. I don't know how I'll get along. I don't know how. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. Again, my name is Tret Fury. My website is tretfury.com, T-R-E-T-F-U-R-E. Check me out, and thank you for spending this time with me.